Today we are discussing, we are talking, and the whole day we will be dealing with EPL. The word EPL is an abbreviation. The whole term is the exercises of practical life. When we talk about the Montessori system, we talk about the method through which you help the child to relate with the environment, to adjust in the environment, to settle down in the environment. And for that purpose, Maria Montessori, the great lady, has given us five subjects, exercise of practical life in short EPL, sensorial, language, maths, culture. And the mother of all these exercises, the most important one is the EPL, Exercise of Practical Life. Now, when we talk about the term Exercise of Practical Life, the term itself is explanatory. Exactly what is it? When you look at when you hear the term and when you try to analyze what does this term mean, you will get it when I tell you. What is exercises? What is the word meaning of the word exercise? Come on. To be able to do, to be able to perform, exercise, to work, to do, and practical life. The word practical, something that is being done, concrete, concrete material, practical, and life all around you. Something which is given to you by God. Now how do you practically apply that life in your normal routine and how you work with it, that is exercise a practical life. Mashallah, all of us over here are having a family. All of us, every single one of us. And when we talk about the family, is it complete? It is not complete without one member. Which member is that? Mother. And the very important member, a very cute member of the family, the child. Without a child, your life is incomplete. And even if you talk about the mother, the father, the brother, the sister, the grandfather, the grandmother, they were all once a child. It is from the child that the adulthood springs. And how you deal with the child, how you handle the child, how you bring up the child, how you brought up the child, that is going to be there for laying out the foundation of the adult who will become very young, who will be laying, dealing with the environment later on. This child which I am talking about is the most important member. When I asked you who is the most important member, you said the father, the mother, yes, definitely they are there. But the, this one member of the family, the child, is one person who is taking in whatever you are giving him, whatever the adults are giving to the child, they are taking in. But with all that, whatever they are taking in, they are going to frame the future for us. When you look at the future around you these days, you find the future is dark. No hope, despair, disappointment, frustration. Only one person who can change it for you. Who is that? The child. Who is the hope for us? Who is always giving us this feeling that life is going on and there is hope that better things may come. But only in case if you develop the child in a proper way. This child who comes to you, who is there in this world, as a gift given by Allah Ta'ala, when he comes in this world, he is a helpless being. He is all dependent on you. He is looking at you for his survival. 
He cannot move his hands. He can move, but not with his own consciousness. Okay, I want to move my hand like this. I want to move my hand like this. I want to hold this thing. I want to eat. I want to grasp. His hands are moving, but not with his own free will. He cannot talk. He cannot understand what you are telling him. Neither this poor little child can tell you what he wants. So at this point we are at a loss. We do not know that this child who is a precious gift to us, given by Allah Ta'ala, how do we understand what does he want? But God bless Maria Montessori, who studied the child, who observed the child. And this observation was a very keen observation. And in depth presented us with the psychology of the child. Believe me, when you study the Montessori system, you can say you have become a child expert. You can look at a child and you can say, if this thing is going on in the child at right now, the child, whatever action is doing, he's doing it because of this reason. No other person like you can understand the child, provided you are thinking deeply. You are understanding the system. You are taking it seriously. Now, as I said, when the child comes in this world, he is a helpless being, totally dependent on you. Do you like being dependent? Come on. Wake up. We all want to do our work ourselves. We are independent, but this child is not independent. And when he is born, he is at the age of zero year. But according to the Chinese according to the Chinese system, when the child is born, he is considered nine months old. They count his age from nine onwards. So when he is there, he is totally without any understanding. The mind is there. The brain is there, which is the absorbent mind. You heard about this mind. Whenever we talk about any subject, we cannot talk about without saying anything about absorbent mind. This absorbent mind is there. That is a mind which will be absorbing impressions, whatever you are doing like a sponge. The sponge can take in anything from the environment. Water is polluted, the sponge will absorb. Water is clean, the sponge will absorb. But if you squeeze the sponge, it is gone. All the water will come out. But what is once gone in this mind, it will stay there forever. So this absorbent mind is going to help the child. But as I said, for a normalized development, the mind, the mental growth and the physical growth has to grow all together. It has to go on a simultaneous line. If they follow separate path, the mental growth goes like this, the physical growth goes like this, and they do not meet at one point, normalization will not be there in the child. Some defects are going to occur. EPL is one thing that is going to ensure that a normalized growth is there. That the child gains from the environment whatever he needs for his perfect development. This EPL, which many of us unfortunately take very lightly, is a very important subject. And you have to take a shortcut or you take a long route to again come to that place, but your journey is stopped at that moment. So you are stopping the journey of the development of the child. And we very well know, when we stop something which is matching with the nature, then normalization is not going to occur. Then happiness is not going to be there. Frustration, irritation, anger, upset attitude, not listening to you, gregariousness, all this is going to be there. And later on you will say, I have given my child such good development, I don't know what is wrong with the child. You start discussing with your friends. If I don't know what is gone. What is gone wrong? Why is he acting? Why, is he, why my child is crying all the time? Why Aisha is very angry all the time? Because you are not realizing it is you who has put that barrier. You have 
have to understand, you have to let the child work on his own. Actually, the child has four rights, which are the universal right. The right to choose or refuse an activity. He has, as law as we have the right to do something, if you want to do something, we'll do it. If you don't want to do something, we won't do it. If you don't want to do something and people tell you, you can know you have to do it. Now again, I will first show you the material that you are very much clarified about the isolation and things. Can you see the color of the tray? I am shown. Green and? Green and? Yesterday I have been an orange duster and an orange egg plastic mat. A green duster or a green plastic mat. Or vice versa, orange duster and a green matching. In simple words, matching. Is this material attracting you? Yes, yes. So do you think it will attract the child? Yes. Alright. And I have a you are wearing a lovely necklace and I have a lovely presentation planned for you. Come with me, I'll show you from one jug into another jug. This is the material for this. So first we have to wear the apron. Let's start wearing the coordination is increasing so she can help me out more. Little by little I am fading away in the background and she is getting to take hold of the class. We have lovely material, we have a duster, we have a plastic mat. We need to lay out the plastic mat. Can you help me do it? Yes. Would you like to repeat it? 